Have you ever thought about the oceans of Europa and how deep they might actually be? From a distance, Europa may just be a frozen ice ball orbiting Jupiter, but under its ice lays a mysterious ocean. It may not be the deepest ocean that probably exists in the solar system, but it is the one most likely for us to explore one day. When thinking about Europa's vast oceans, it isn't always easy to visualize the depths at play, so let's use a reference point that we can all visualize. The tallest building in the world currently is the Burj Khalifa, standing at 830 meters tall. It is 170 meters short of one kilometer, still an impressive height. Each line here represents one kilometer. To reach the ocean, we must first get through the ice. It's not exactly known how thick the ice is, estimates vary. A common range is 15 to 25 kilometers, some say it could be thinner or thicker in spots. A good average is about 20 kilometers, so let's just use that now for simplicity's sake. Now that we are at the ocean, we can begin our descent. We aren't even halfway there yet. Welcome to the seafloor, 100 kilometers below the underside of the ice. One could only imagine what's down here. The pressures are so immense that water ice itself might actually take on strange physical forms. Estimates of how deep the ocean is range from between 60 to 150 kilometers. 100 kilometers is the average used most often, but it's likely a safe bet to assume other parts are deeper than others. Europa's oceans are vast and deep, and might even contain life. To better explore this world, we will need a way to get under the ice, communicate through the ice, survive the crushing depths, and not contaminate the moon with Terran microbes. If you ever want something to lay awake at night and think about, the technical challenges of exploring Europa's unimaginable depths are a good topic.